It's Monday, January 14th, and welcome back to The Daily Report. I'm Scott Kodak. The women's basketball team got back to their winning ways on Sunday afternoon with an 86-65 victory over rival Miami. Leonor Rodriguez and Natasha Howard each had more than 20 points on the afternoon, and Chelsea Davis added another double-double. It was an effort that head coach Sue Semerau could not be more proud of. A great defensive effort by my team, and uh, yeah, I think they, they really came back from a tough loss and worked hard in practice, and that was the difference, was... Uh, was what they did in practice and uh, you know the result against a very good Miami team um, you know is, is, is exciting for us. The men's basketball team was in action on Saturday afternoon falling to North Carolina final score 77 to 72. The Seminoles were out rebounded by the Tar Heels which ended up being the difference in the ball game. They had 19 office rebounds that was the same number of rebounds that we had and we've been a pretty good rebounding team when we concentrate, we have not been as consistent. But uh, w when you're not, when you're giving up a team, a hungry, athletic, aggressive team. Congratulations goes out to the men's tennis team, which started its spring season on the right note with two wins over UCF and Furman. Here's what head coach Dwayne Holtquist had to say following Saturday's impressive performance. It's good. You know, I think we got a lot of things that we need to continue to work on. I think uh, to me, the key point, part of the match is we had won three first sets, but. Uh, the t number one, two, and three were all tight, and when we won the kind of uh, turn number two and three round, and then Jordan won his first set in, in a tiebreaker after being down, I thought that was maybe the key key part of the match. That's all for today's Daily Report. Have a great day, and we'll see you back here on Tuesday morning.